Hey guys, how are we? Barry Steak Fries back here with you. Thanks for joining us for another great episode this week. I hope you're all well. Hope you've all enjoyed your Easter break, if you got one. Uh, I certainly didn't. I was too busy working. Too busy being productive. The old steak fries, he doesn't take a break. He works. Because as the old saying goes, no break for the steak. Fries. Uh, that's that's definitely the saying. So I worked, worked through, working hard, been doing the business, and I certainly wouldn't have gone away on the scientists Easter retreat uh, even if they'd asked me to because I am too busy too busy working getting it done over here and uh, I'm gonna get it done by answering some questions we're just gonna jump straight into it this week guys gonna get to it gonna connect with the fans straight away because that's totally what I had planned to do and not because I forgot to plan anything for this episode but if I had forgotten it would be because I was working so hard you know you gotta you gotta work you gotta make the steak fries that's the old the old saying goes anyway let's uh let's have a look dude default thanks for watching dude good on you great name great question i assume haven't read it yet let's have a look where does the name steak fries come from that is a ripper question dude uh thanks again uh, now look, uh, as far as I know, it comes from Belgium. That's uh, that's in uh, Europe. And uh, in English, you pronounce it steak fries, but the Belgium, the Belgium and Belgiumese, Belgiumese, the Belgiumese is, I believe, a lot more complicated. Uh, you actually pronounce steak frites. Um, so uh, actually, let's uh, let's have a quick look. On the internet, see if we can see if we can sort this out. Steak frites or frites? Don't know. Ask a Belgian. Uh, steak and fries. Yep, cool. Very common, popular dish. Served in brasseries. Yada yada yada. Steak paired with fries. National dish of Belgium. <laughs> hey, good on you. Rump steak, etc. Is anyone else hungry? Look at that. Uh, anyway, there you go. It means steak and fries. That's that. I knew that already. Obviously, knew the pronunciation, knew the origin. I'm on it. All over this. And uh, again, great question. Thanks. Always, always nice to to know that fans are interested in, in Barry's history. The old steak fries hist. Uh, nah, can't do anything with that. Sorry. Anyway, there you go. Language easy. Um. I don't know whether that means my ancestors made steak and fries for a job, maybe? Maybe they just liked eating steak and fries. Don't know. Don't know. Where do people get their names? You know, this, this kid in my class in the fourth grade, Craig, kept bringing yogurt to school for his lunch. So we'd call him Yogurt Craig. You know? It's, um, yeah. Well, I guess he had to be there. Uh, anyway, maybe they ate steak and fries. Uh as their job and also really enjoyed steak and fries maybe they ate in food competitions i don't know thanks dude uh again i'm sorry i've probably asked more questions than i've answered with that one uh but you know it's good good chat good chat everyone great stuff maybe the history of steak fries can be explored in another episode maybe if i get around to planning something anyway what's next so you serve Dan the man, but can you beat him in a fist fight? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that one, don't we, guys? Uh, now, look, good, good, good question there, uh, Soestra. I think. Uh, anyway, I put my money fair and square on Big Bad Barry the Jetpack Steak Fries. You know, I've, I'm going to back myself in here, uh, and I'll be prepared to put my money where my mouth is as well. If Dan is, it's probably not. But uh, if he sees this, because he's probably watching, I imagine, um, maybe we could have a bit of a fight, you know, a boxing match, like a, a, a fair income, you know, like slug it out, six rounds or, or something. You or me, Dan. Mano a mano. 
Let's do it. We can donate the proceedings, maybe, to charity. Uh, you know, like good cause. Like a charity for, uh, I don't know, uh, video bloggers. Or, uh, you know, maybe maybe a, a charity for people who are struggling to maybe find work. And when they, when they do find the work, people in the office don't, you know, don't actually talk to them or and make them sit in the squeaky chair in the, the far corner of the office and and then don't invite them to the Easter getaway. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a charity for that. I don't know. We'll look into it. Um, but the answer is me. Great question there. What are we got next? El Bendu. Why do you shoot the scientists with the bad hog? Uh, look, there's a simple answer. I'm trying to be nice. Courtesy. Courtesy is the answer there, Bendu. I don't want them to get run over. So I shoot them out of the way. That's uh, that's what I do for them. They haven't returned the favor so far. But I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy, guys. I'm nice. You get to know me. Anyway, next, Sonic. What's your favorite ride to borrow from legitimate research motor pool? Top-notch question again, everybody. You're doing great this week. Doing really well. Making me really feel good about being involved in this in this back and forth. Uh, look, there's so many to choose from, Sonic. That's, uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a great question. Hard question. Hard question to pin down. How many are there? Eight? Eight or nine? I don't know. There's been a few f special ones, hasn't there? Santa Slay, and the Hoverboard. Uh, I'm not sure if they really count. We count them. Doesn't matter. What's my favorite? Uh, no. Oh, the Teleporter is obviously a great one. Everyone wants to teleport, you know? I reckon the guy who invented it could have maybe made the destination selector method a little bit more practical, but apart from that, you know, it's top notch, solid. Uh, little Stomper's good as well, you know, smashing through a lab on a jacked up mechanical gorilla. It's top, top stuff. If that doesn't sound like fun to you, boys and girls, then uh, <laughs> I don't think we can be friends. Uh, but we. We, we should be friends. Uh, anyway, anyway, if I if I had to pick one, if I had to pick one there, Sonic, I'm gonna go with the Prophet Bird and uh, and Mr. Cuddles. You know, I like them so much. I wrote a song about them, which I'm sure you've all watched. But if you haven't, you can check out that number one smash hit uh, on YouTube. Just Google Barry Steak Fries Robot Bird, and uh, you'll be able to watch that. Uh, really, all my feelings about the Robot Bird are laid out pretty clearly in that one. So uh, get amongst that, get amongst all my other videos, make sure you keep sending in your questions. And uh, once again, I've been Barry Steak Fries, you've been whoever you are, and I'll see you next week. Barry Steak Fries!